Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to fix the problem of missing boot device during Windows startup. First, I will be demonstrating this problem on this Lenovo L540 ThinkPad. So what happens is when I press the power button, it first shows this ThinkPad logo screen. And then it goes on to the Intel boot agent screen saying initializing and establishing link. And then I have this message saying media test failure, check cable, then exiting Intel boot agent. And then it quickly takes me to this BIOS interface where I can choose some boot device. And here no matter what boot device I choose, it still won't boot up. It either keeps me on this page or takes me back to the previous boot agent page and eventually brings me back to this BIOS page. Now I've had similar encounter with quite a number of laptops and for some laptops you won't see a page like this. Instead you will just get a similar error message. It could be as simple as no bootable device found, insert disk and hit any key to continue. For others you will get similar error message saying media test failure, check cable, exiting Intel boot agent, but no BIOS screen like this would follow. There are several possible reasons why you may be having this error ranging from loose connections to faulty hard disk or faulty connectors or corrupt windows files. It could even be that your hard disk got displaced from the BIOS boot or the priority. So here I'll be walking you through how to check for each of these possibilities and hopefully you'll have your laptop working properly again. So to avoid complicating this problem further, I will advise you follow these suggestions in the order they are presented in this video. The first thing you want to check when you encounter this problem is loose connections. Sometimes your laptop might experience some kind of shock or vibration that could cause your hard disk to come loose from the connector. In that case, the problem is completely physical and all you need to do is locate your hard disk bay open it up and reattach the disk firmly to the connector. For some laptops like this Lenovo, it's easy to access your hard disk. Usually you will find it in one of the compartments under the laptop. In this case, I have only one compartment, so I can't be sure that it's the right compartment. For some laptops, it might be more difficult to get your hard disk, especially those located underneath the keyboard compartment. For such cases, you might want to try out the other suggestions before trying out this fix. But if you can access your hard disk, then I definitely recommend you start off with this suggestion. Now as you can see from this laptop, the hard disk seems quite in place, but still I will loosen it out, clean the connectors a bit and then reattach it firmly again. This will get rid of any dust or debris that could be hindering contact between the disk and the connector on the motherboard. Now put back all the screws and try to boot it up again. And here, as you can see, the laptop boots right back to Windows. Now, if you are still unable to boot to Windows on your laptop after checking this disk connection, then the next thing you want to do is to check your BIOS for boot priority order, especially if you have multiple disks on your laptop. And even if you have only one disk, I still recommend you check the BIOS boot order to be sure your hard disk is included and rightly placed in the order of priority. To do that, first check the keyboard shortcut you need to boot to your BIOS. For this Lenovo L450, is the F1 key. So as soon as I power it on, I will keep tapping the F1 key until it boots into the BIOS. Now your BIOS interface might look different from mine, but however it looks, try to find the option or tab related to the startup. In my case, it's just startup. Yours might be boot option or boot order or something like that. Here I will go to the startup tab using the arrow keys and then go down to where it says boot and hit enter. Here it shows my boot priority order as you can see. I have quite a number of boot devices in the order. So here I need to ensure that the disk with my Windows operating system is placed in the top of the order. If not, then as the instruction here says, I need to use the plus and minus keys to move the devices up and down. So here you should use the required keys to move your Windows disk to the top of the priority order and then use the F10 key to save changes. Now another thing you could do here is to just press the F9 key to set your BIOS back to defaults. Here when I press that, it says load default configurations now, OS optimized defaults disabled. So here by selecting yes, I'm asking BIOS to prioritize the disk with the operating system in the boot priority order. So this could also be a quick solution to this problem if it's coming from the BIOS settings. And with that your PC should hopefully boot back to Windows as supposed. However, if this still doesn't solve the problem, then there is also the possibility that the path to your Windows operating system can be traced by the BIOS. And that requires a bit more technical approach. I have made a separate video on how to fix this problem in that case. I will leave a link down in the video description. 
Another rare but also considerable possibility is the case of bad cable connectors, talking about the cable that connects your hard disk to the motherboard. If for some reason this cable is broken, then it will also give this missing boot device error. A quick way to check if this is the case would be to connect another tested hard disk to the connector and try to boot into it. And if that fails, then likely you have a broken cable. And of course, if it works, then there's chances that the initial hard disk is broken and needs to be replaced. For the case of broken connector cable, you can order another one on eBay or Amazon using the exact model of your laptop. Hope one of this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.